now, Matt, I've got some good news for you. You can Go start on. shooting my rats. Hooray. Um, so shooting is a short action. So if you want, you can move to get into a good position and then shoot. Uh, or you can shoot and then move. So if you okay. realise you've suddenly left yourself uh, in a bit of a precarious position, you can then move out of the way. Now, it's really important to see, first of all, how high your model is. And then you've got to look for things like cover, because that will start to dictate your bonuses and things like that. So let's take, it's almost as if these were placed here on purpose map, but no, you've I'm got sure uh, one, two, three of your GCPS here, and they're all on different levels. Okay. So now, you, can I shoot and then shoot again? No. So that would be too broken. So oh, okay. uh, you can't do it normally, so you can't do the same action twice. Um, but so I couldn't move and move again? No. You have to do something else? Yes, you have okay. to sprint if you want to move you know, your sprint stat. Uh, and also you can't sprint and then shoot normally. But there might be a way to help you out with that. So here we've got your leader is on like the, the base, the kind of ground floor. Yep. You've got a kind of marine here and then another one on top there. So let's say you wanted to aim at one of my rats here. Um, you've got different things to look out for. So I say you've got things like cover. You've got things like clear shot, and then you've also got to make sure you've got line of sight to the target. So typically, line of sight is really, really easy. If you can see it, you can shoot it. So if you can see the body of a model, you can shoot it. And is that if I can see it, or if from the position of my model? It's from the position it. of your model. So actually, Dead Zone's really good because it does encourage you to sort of get down. It's quite immersive because you're in the game, you're looking around. Which is quite good in all this terrain. Yeah, yeah. So you do, yeah. and it's um, so it is quite atmospheric, quite cinematic actually, because you feel like you're actually in the game, looking yep. around. So if you wanted to shoot from this um, unit here, you would kind of get down, sort of eye level, and make sure that they can actually see. And you're drawing line of sight from the model's eyes. You know, you yep. you're not sort of drawing line of sight from the gun. You know, it might you might be sticking a gun around the corner and shooting blind. Instead, you need to be able to actually see the models. So let's have a look. So here, we'd say, yeah, see that one? Yep, and I'm guessing I can see that from any of those three can see that. So yeah, okay. yep. they can all see that. We've got this one here, which you can Same see. Again, yeah, see. And now let's have a look at this nightmare down here. So if you look, what can you see? Well, this one up here, I guess can't see uh, really much at all. Yeah. Maybe the back through the window. Um, these two can definitely see but they can see the end of the drill uh, yeah here but nothing else no. okay now the way we've got it now in, in dead zone third edition is yes you can say you can see that drill but what we say is because it's overhanging over the edge of the base it means you can't target it so one of the reasons for specifying what size base all the models come on is because you imagine they're sort of like a, a cylinder as kind of of the area you can aim at i guess okay. So uh, on this rat here, pretty much all its body is within the base. But anything that overhangs, you can't aim at. And that's to, you imagine, these are moving around, they're really fast. So yeah, you might be able to see their tail, but you know, you're know you not going to be able to shoot their tail and kill them or things like that. Yeah. I suppose that helps from uh, the bigger models like this one, where yeah, there's a lot overhanging, or someone wants to model something quite yeah. spectacular. Yeah, it really helps, I, particularly with the big models, because you've got two here, the Nightmare and the Pack Hunter. They've obviously got quite big, chunky models. They're quite dynamic poses. So actually now what we can say is, I don't have to worry about moving my Nightmare here. I can actually leave it out there and, and think, okay, well, I'm, I'm pretty safe there because you can't target it. Um, and that will also affect things like clear shot, because if I was shooting here, because that's overhanging, and actually that doesn't block my line of sight either to you. Um, Okay, so let's have a look at the different options you've got when shooting. So let's say you wanted this marine here yep. to shoot this rat here. So the way it works with shooting is all tests start with three dice, your three d8s. Okay. So you would get your three d8s. Yep. Uh, and then you would look to see if there's any bonuses or modifiers to the shot. So in this case, if you were shooting this one here, yep. you would say, this uh, stalker is in cover. Because of this or because of this? Uh, because of 
this. So because I'm up against this, I can ignore. Yeah, can yeah, because you're up against it, you kind of look over it and yeah. think, you don't have to worry about it. Okay. But because he's got this kind of barrier in front of him in cover. So if I was shooting that one instead, there would be no cover? That's correct, yeah. Okay. And the way it works is actually cover doesn't... Uh, I guess models are always assumed to be in cover in some ways. They're always assumed yeah. to be running around and hiding and things Just like that. Just because of the density of the... Just because, yeah, and yeah. we've got and scatter. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So in that case, you know, if you're shooting this one here, you just have your base three dice. Yep. Now, it would be slightly different with this one because there's no cover around. So you, that would count as a clear shot. So you'd get two extra dice. Okay, so rather than, and does that affect my, do I also get a bonus to the, what I need to roll, or is it just the dice that I get? No, so the modifiers are only ever plus dice. So okay. um, you never have to worry about changing your fight stat or changing your range stat or anything like that. So that's fixed. Yeah, that is always fixed. You just have to basically remember to increase your dice. Okay. So you've basically got more of a chance of, of shooting me off the table. Um, so yeah, this one would be a clear shot because there's no scenery. You've got direct line of sight to it as well. So that would be five dice. So things are looking slightly dangerous for me here. So this one would presumably, it would be exactly the same. I'll be a clear shot here and still have the cover from yep. this barrier here. But what about my... Well, actually this one, here? not only would you have clear shot, but because you're higher than me, you get an advantage for height okay, as well. So, so you actually get another a, plus there's one. There's a definite double bonus for being for high potentially. Yeah, so that's another reason why... You know, using your movement to get higher than the opponent that you're shooting is really, really important. So this one, because you're higher, kind of got the advantage of being you're able to see me better and take me out. So you would get the bonus for clear shot, and then you would get another dice for actually being higher than me. Yeah, so now it's getting slightly dangerous. Um, now you asked about your leader yeah. down here. Now, I guess that may look like You've kind of got a clear shot again, really, because you're, you're up against that terrain. Obviously, I've got my bat here. You actually never get a bonus, a clear shot bonus for being lower. Because you imagine, actually, when you're looking from here, this scenery is actually blocking kind of front half. Yeah, so this corner actually taking the line of sight. Yeah. It's probably going to cut through the legs. Yeah, exactly. So uh, if you're shooting uh, from down low, up high, no chance Chances for a clear it, yeah. shot. So now, which of these do you want to try and shoot me with? Well, six dice would be nice. Yeah, yeah. But I, because, I, because I like to take a risk. Okay, good. Just because you can be short, watch how many eights I rolled. Okay, I fine. Oh, this guy, that one. Okay. So you... So that'll be just the three dice, yeah. Yeah, so you roll your three dice. Okay. And so I'm a normal Marine. And if I look up uh, Corporation Marine, so I'm looking for the RA, the ranged. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so five plus. So everything that's a five or more on this dice. Yeah, I guess one thing sorry, we didn't mention is, uh, is actually how far your weapon can fire. So what's the range on your weapon? So that's the... So I've got a laser rifle. Yeah. So it says R6, so that's presumably ranged. Yeah, so range six. So that means you can go one, two, three. And again, just like the movement, you know, we're not having to get our tape measures out or anything like that. You're literally just counting the amount of cubes in between you and your target. And if I'm going up or down, how does that work as well for range? Does that count at all? No, it's still, so it's still, you're just counting the distance. Okay. So you don't have to worry about, if you're up there, that you don't have to go one, two, you know, two, three. You're just counting the, the actual distance in terms of the number of cubes on the okay. board. Um, um, now some of these, we'll probably come to this later, I'm guessing some of these haven't got an R, they've got a CC, I'm guessing that's close combat. Yeah, that means they can only do okay. close combat. So R6, I'm definitely within range, yeah. and I'm needing fives or more. Yep. Oh, what did I say about wow, it? that is a good, okay. <laughs> so, so that means I get, so these two both hit? Yeah, they both hit. And that's that has hit, plus an extra Yeah, dice. now you get to roll another dice. Okay, so I'll put these over there, so I don't knock them. So you can't claim that I didn't. Okay. Didn't move. So another dice. Oh, that one, one, one has one's definitely hit now. Yeah, okay. no, no. Uh, so some <laughs> of them will have um, different rules, like weight of fire, which means you can re-roll misses as well. So I don't okay. think you've... Do you want to check if you've got weight of fire? Uh, on a laser rifle, rapid fire. Okay, well, we'll explain what rapid fire is in a second. Okay. But uh, So you've got three successes. Okay, great. So now, because you're shooting at me, all I can do is I can't shoot back. I basically just have to survive the attack. So I have three dice as well. Okay. And again, there's no modifiers for me being in cover. It's just sort of assumed that I'm in cover. The bonus is actually go on your shot rather than me 
having a bonus for being in cover. Okay. So I take my three so dice. It simple. So my survive is five plus, and okay. these are all going to be eights, and I'm going to survive. Okay. Oh dear. So I've only got one survive. Okay. So how many uh, did you get again? So I've got three against your one. Okay. So I beat you by two. Yeah, yes. that's right. Okay. So let's say there's your three. Let's imagine they all hit. Hang on two seconds. There we go. So you've got seven, seven, eight. So my seven cancels one. Uh, these miss, so that means two shots get through. Unfortunately, my HP is only two. I have no armor. No, I have no armor at all. Um, so obviously, if I did have armor, that would potentially knock one of those off. Okay. Uh, if you had armor piercing, it would kind of knock cancel my armor your back. Armor. Yeah. So they sort of cancel each other and work against each other. But yeah, so I've taken two wounds, and I am. So if, one, one rat down. Yep. Yeah. Law abiding duty. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then it would be so we have alternating activations. So now it'd be my go when I, and I think I'm going to come and fight you. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so Matt, you asked um, what rapid fire did. Yes. Um, so some uh, of the different weapons have a special rule, which is rapid fire, which means you don't actually do damage. What you're trying to do is pin your opponent down. So in that case, if you would um, you want to kind of use your rapid fire, you can do a move called Blaze Away. So that's my choice. I don't yes. have to rapid fire with that weapon. No. Fire normally. No, that's right. So you've got the choice of do you want to shoot normally and cause damage, or do you want to try and pin me? So some of them, particularly like the rats and things, are quite fast. Mm -hmm. um, so what will happen is if you pin my unit, I have to lay it down or, or use a marker to indicate that it's been pinned. That means on my turn. I have to use one of my short actions, stand up. So what it's really good at doing is slowing down an opponent. So if you're playing against someone who's very fast, uh, maybe like the Plague, um, or even like the, the Forge, the Forge Father is actually quite interesting because they're quite slow. So being able to make pin them even down, slower. it made them even slower. So if I if I didn't think I had a chance of killing you, yeah. I wanted you to stop getting to like, attacking one of my guys or getting to an objective, maybe yeah. I'd slow you down. Yeah, exactly. Now. So, some um, units, like the big vehicles and things, or, or, or the ones that have special rules, uh, are immune to getting pinned. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're not going to kind of hit the dirt. They're going to kind of stand there and you, know, you can't really do them. Some weapons as well um, will have automatic pinned. So if you get hit by like a frag grenade or some of the bigger weapons as well, they will automatically pin you. Okay. Yeah, so actually blazing away, you'll tend to find that people, particularly when they start, are always wanting to shoot and that's all they do. But yeah, if you want to do a and be a bit more tactical, you can use Blaze Away to kind of slow me down or just stop me getting close to an objective as well. <laughs>